Let's do the hair now. Along with the refresher in snowman building, these kids are getting another lesson today. Explaining him about the, the, the importance of the safe mask, always uh, avoiding uh, hugging, avoiding uh, touching people. He works full time and his wife is studying, so keeping their son home from school isn't an option. I'm a little bit worried because uh, the, this new Omicron is spreading too fast. But uh, life needs to, to keep going on, you know. Some do not feel class is safe enough. Until the peak starts to go down, because right now it's like almost at the top. The numbers are almost at the top and we should have had more online learning options. The B.C. government is promising enhanced safety measures. There will be measures uh, to, to reduce crowding, to stagger break times. And three layered masks will be provided to anyone who wants them. But teachers haven't been prioritized for boosters, rapid tests will not be available right away, and N95 masks won't be offered, leaving some feeling nervous. Uh, I'm concerned that we're asking parents to send their kids into a school where we're not quite sure what transmission is going to look like. In Alberta, the situation is similar, and some experts suggest it could feed a surge among both kids and staff. We're going to end up in this flip-flop scenario where we're in person and then we're online and then we're in person and I think that's even harder on the students. In Ontario, where schools will be closed until January 17th, parents rallied, saying the mental health costs of not reopening are too great. Our children need to be back in person no later for all ages. And some doctors say kids' exposure to COVID may be inevitable. There is COVID everywhere. Kids are going to be exposed in school and outside of school. I think we need to try to focus on vaccinating the kids to bring them back. This leaves parents across Canada with a big decision to make. Susanna De Silva, CBC News, Vancouver. Well, let's bring in pediatric infectious disease specialist Dr. Jacqueline Wong, who is in Hamilton. And, and Dr. Wong, uh, in, in British Columbia and Alberta, kids are going back to the classroom tomorrow and parents are anxious. Uh, what would you say to those parents? Absolutely. I think it's important that kids across the country have the opportunity to get back into the classroom, right, and, and receive that high quality education. Um, when parents are thinking about risk, I think it's important to remind parents that throughout the pandemic, um, COVID has fortunately uh, caused relatively mild um, infections in the vast majority of children. And that's what we're continuing to see with the Omicron variant. Um, speaking about the Ontario scenario, uh, when we look at um, our hospitalization rates and the types of cases that are in hospital, again, we're seeing that the cases that Omicron is causing is for the very um, broad majority quite mild. But how families make those risk-based decisions for themselves, I think you have to think about, you know, are there conditions that your child has that might predispose them to more severe illness? Um, or is there a family member who lives in the household who is at risk of more severe illness? And then we have to think about, you know, have, has everyone optimized their uh, vaccinations to try to prevent those severe illnesses, reminding people people about hand hygiene, wearing masks, and, and staying physically distanced from other people when you're out and about. And, and what about masking? There, there's some people calling for N95 masks for kids. What's your view on that? Yeah, so I think importantly, in order for a mask to work, it needs to fit well and the person needs to wear it. Um, so N95 masks are not manufactured for a child's face, like a smaller face, and they are far too uncomfortable to be keeping on all day when they're in the classroom. So I think uh, focusing on the, the principles of having a cloth mask where there's multiple layers, that it's well fitted and comfortable for the child to wear, um, is going to give you much more bang for your buck than trying to go after um, a KN95 or an N95 mask. Dr. Wong, thank you very much. Pleasure's mine. Thanks for having me.